Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Lilach Saperstein, um, host and creator of the All About Audiology podcast and community, and I wanted to check in with you guys and lead you through a super, super simple check-in that I do with myself, with my kids, and with all of you guys, especially over on the Instagram page where this has been going around and getting a lot of responses from you. So it's perfectly natural to feel really overwhelmed or stressed or anxious during these times. Um, That just makes sense. And giving ourselves permission to say, hey, this is hard. Hey, this is uncertain. We don't really know what's going to happen. We don't know how this is going to affect us in the future, but we can check in with today. We can check in with right now. And that's honestly the only thing we have. And in truth, what we have all the time right? Always there's uncertainty. Just now it's a little bit more oh, heightened and we can all really feel that uncertainty. So it's really very simple. Um, it's three questions and you fill in the blank. So I feel, and then you just let that feeling rise up in you and say, how do you feel? I feel grateful, but some other days Uh, When I've tried this in the last couple days, I had very different answers. I feel angry, I feel confused, I feel tired. Um, I have felt really um, overwhelmed, really. It was like a big moment for me when it was like, I have to make all these meals and all of this childcare and all of this work from remote and all of that, Um, but it's the truth of it is that I have to do right now. And yes, I can plan, but I don't have to do everything and prepare for an upcoming Passover holiday all at once, no. So come back to how do you feel in this moment? Allow that feeling to just exist without any judgment. So that's the first question I feel and just wait for your answer to arise, to come up for you. Um, And then the next two questions are my belly feels and my chest feels to try and get in touch with your body and in tune with how you are in inhabiting your body at this moment. Um, Does your belly feel really tight, really full, um, super sloshy? Like how is it, how is the experience in your body in specifically in your belly, abdomen area? Because that can tell us a lot about our gut and what's the feeling that, you know, the feeling in our gut. (laughs) That's basically what I'm after. And then the second part of that is I my chest feels. And lots of times, oh, it's like, right even right now I feel it. Like it's a little hard to breathe. There's like a little bit of heaviness on my chest. It might be tight. It might be um, really kind of shriveled. Like, I don't know, whatever feeling comes up for you. So I feel, my belly feels, my chest feels. And then there's just two more parts to this little check-in. Um, come think of a an activity that takes less than 15 minutes that you can do that you know makes you feel better and what i've heard people answering for this are so varied um journaling taking a walk if possible you know getting fresh air looking at the sky these are things that take moments if we do them but also snuggling with your baby or cuddling with your pet um just standing up walking around okay so these are like one minute ones but you know even 15 minute ones like taking a shower um um, having a cup of tea and drinking it really slowly and enjoying the heat of the of the mug right so other ideas and then you just come up with one that's like a 15 less than 15 minute activity that i can do to feel better and then the sip the number five the last last thing is um a thought that I can remind myself to feel better. And the reason I'm saying remind myself is because usually it's always something we know. Our, our, we know how to take care of ourselves. We know what we need. We know what makes us feel better. We just forget at the time when it's, ah, you know, all of that is happening. When it's tight belly, tight chest, I'm feeling overwhelmed, tired, angry, and anxious. Um, so what is the thought that you can think about now and then try and paste that into your check-in, you know, your five things, and then you will come back to that thought and remind yourself whatever that is for you. Um, this too shall pass. For some people, it's um, all is as it should be. 
you know, and these are not like just like cliche bubble quotes, like pick one, you know, that really resonates and works for you. And for, for some people it's, we're all in this together. Um, this is right now. I don't know. There's a lot, there's a lot. (laughs) You can check also on the Instagram hashtag, um, the stories that people are posting and see other people's responses. Um, people have said, I can come back to gratitude. I always have my breath, different things like that. So yes, I'm an audiologist. Yes, we usually talk about hearing um, hearing aids, the decisions um, surrounding cochlear implants and communication modes and sign language. And that topic is still going to be here and still continues. But also a big message of the podcast for me is about supporting the families who are going through um, challenging medical um, journeys, right? If that's about hearing loss, if it's about deaf plus with other disabilities or um, needs and the emotional toll that that takes on a parent or caregiver, family member of um, someone young or someone old with hearing loss is not to be discounted. And right now we're all kind of going through this big change uh, with how the world is going to be running. So I just invite you to do that check-in and it's just five questions. I feel, my belly feels, my chest feels, a 15 minute activity and a thought I can return to. So come and join over on the Instagram page, all about audiology podcast. And if you have any questions or you're interested in working more with me or um, getting the support that you deserve, then definitely reach out. I'm Dr. Lilach Saperstein. Thank you for watching and be well. Bye.